Hello, welcome back to PTC 25. Um, I'm here with Oz, uh, Nico, Annan, uh, CFO of Infra Partners. Oz, thank you very much for joining and, uh, and talking to us. How's PTC been for you this yeah, year? Yeah, been good, been good. A lot of connections, uh, really fun experience, and yeah. like a lot of good people in a beautiful place. So exactly, no yeah. Well, we've been, we can't complain, a work trip to Hawaii <laughs> doesn't come around very often, uh, but yeah, you, you've got I'll, to jump at these opportunities exactly. when you can, right? But a lot of exactly. hard work as well. Oh, of, uh, course, just of course, of course, of course. <laughs> um, well, yeah, thanks so much for chatting with us. Um, just before we jump in, why don't you kind of just give us a little bit of an overview of um, Infra Partners, what you guys do, uh, yeah. and your role as well. Yeah, so um, CFO of Infra Partners, what we're doing, we're um, trying to change, change the landscape for data center deployments, right? We're supporting hyperscalers, GPUs, service providers, government entities in facilitating the build in the next wave of um, data center capacity. There's a big need yeah. um, and we're trying to do it differently. Cool. Um, so I think a big part of what you guys do is kind of like advising clients on, you know, the financial elements of kind of some of the deployments, like from modular data centers, sustainable designs. Um, so are there any kind of like specific cost saving metrics or like benchmarks that you use when you're kind of going through those consultation projects with them? Yeah, look, the way we think about it, prefab integration doing that away from site um, in a modular capacity, um, cost saving, uh, schedule certainty, two big things we can solve for, right? Yeah. We do everything in our integrated facility, right? We, um, we are able to check for tolerances, increase quality, reduce the complexity at site so that the total cost of the upfront capital for the client is a lot lower, mm -hmm. right? We're able to do it quicker to a higher standard um, um, and with uh, a cost price that makes sense for the client. Yeah, that makes sense. And you mentioned like right at the start, you know, you were working with um, some like GPUs and service providers, um, so that it's kind of like newer entrants into the market. Yeah, yeah. Um, how do things change working with those guys who are maybe at like a kind of like smaller scale, a little bit more nimble compared to some of the more established larger hyperscalers? Is there much difference there? Um, yes and no. So um, we're able to, for some of the newer entrants, right, um, part of our solution and part of our product offering, right, we're designing with flexibility, right? So. Um, one of the things that we've seen is that we, we're able to reduce the potential for, um, for redundancy in asset value and obsolescence through designing to the tech requirement that's going to be deployed, right? So as the technology changes, we're able, our design will, um, will, will accommodate for that change and be scalable for the next wave of technology. Yeah. So we're able to guide them along that journey to make sure that the investments that they're making you know, get a, a quicker return on investment. Yeah. Um, one thing that I think we've kind of like picked up on while we've been here is, you know, the industry is growing rapidly. There's like, you know, big um, boom in demand, lots of like new kind of data centers being built. Um, but perhaps there is now kind of like the skill shortage uh, issue is kind of being pushed up the agenda. Yeah. Uh, is that something Infra Partners are seeing? Is that something you guys are working on as well? 100%. It's an, it's an industry-wide problem. Um, how we think we solve it, right? We centralize the complex, right? So um, where you would be deploying in, pick a location, pick a region, right? Um, there's skill shortages everywhere, Western markets, developing markets. Our, our, our centralization of the integration and the fabrication brings all of that closer to us, right? So we, we've positioned and placed our, our facilities where we know we've got that supply chain and that labor okay. supply, right? So the complex is done in-house um, in a controlled environment. By the time our modules are getting to site, right, it's um, it, it's the the easier labor to source, right? The cheaper yeah. labor to source. So we don't have the issue of having to fly in um, MEP uh, professionals where you know time is precious and yeah. costs are high to site to get things done. We're doing that centrally. We okay. remove that for the customer. That makes a lot. That makes a lot of sense. And do you, how do you kind of like see the um, response from the industry when you know, in, in reaction to that kind of like offering? Um, Look, positive, right? Um, the industry's struggling right now. Schedule certainty, right? Um, can I get my data center X, right? Cost mm. certainty and cost overruns, right? Two big issues for the industry, yeah. right? If we can solve for those two, 
with the type of quality parameters that, that we've implemented at our um, integration facilities, right? It's a win-win-win for the client, right? And it's a win-win for the industry. So yeah, we, we believe we've got um, a unique proposition delivering modular data center solutions um, to whoever needs them for whatever type of compute they need them for. Yeah, let's, let's dive into the kind of cost overrun side of things a little yeah. bit more. So what kind of like frameworks, what kind of like, um, you know, operational strategies are you guys putting in place to help deal with, uh, deal with that? Um, we think of our product in a kind of kind of truly like manufacturing process, right? So as we think about our product, right, um, we've optimized our facilities to ensure that we're consistent in our approach for each and every module, right? We know the cost and we know how it's going to be built. We know the time it's going to take, right? All of that translates to a dollar, right? Um, as we go through that and the quality is checked, double checked and triple checked, the way we think about cost is that we know what it's going to cost us in our integration facility. Then when we get to site, we know that um, we're not going to have big time overruns because we're expecting long lead or actually big time overruns because um, the, the professional services need X weeks longer. We've yeah. solved all of that centrally, right? So, so the way we think about cost is take the complexity upstream, keep it with us in our, in our facilities. When we get to site, we want to be in and out as quick as possible. Right. Give the client the keys, shake hands, and move on to the next project. Yeah. And is that something like that you're seeing more, like I guess, like more kind of like focus on and more interest in as the the products are getting larger, they're getting more complex. Um, I guess people are looking for you know efficiency and um, ways of like replicating their approaches as much as possible, right? So is this like a kind of growing trend? Do you think? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Look, we. Um, we, we drive towards a kind of standard but flexible design, right? We're gonna build for the technology that you're hosting, um, but we wanna make sure that the design works for you in whatever your site is and whatever facility it is, right? Um, the way we've, we've um, framed and um, talk about our product with our clients, right? Um, we can do greenfield, we can do brownfield, we're doing some retrofits uh, of existing sites, right? As, as, as we package that all up together um, and talk to the clients about it, right? We're definitely seeing it resonate with the client, yeah. right? Um, because it's a product that they need and the time to deployment for us and the time to, um, the time to go live and uh, we're able to take significant time out of what a traditional build looks like. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Oz, thank you so much for chatting with us. Appreciate it's been it. Great. Thank you. Um, and thank you to everyone for watching as well. Um, you can check out more news, views, industry insights on all of these topics at thetechcapital.com.